morning YouTube. Today we're doing a day in the life vlog, working and living in and moving to Toronto. So I've been slowly coming to the realization that I am more productive first thing in the morning. So I typically like to get up and check my emails for both my businesses, one of which is book cover design and the other is business consulting. I'll then head out of the house to a local cafe and the treats are just like absolutely delicious there. And I'll typically sit and work for three to four hours and just try and knock out some really good focus work to get a really great head start on the day and just kind of, you know, get a handle on the workload. Okay, so I just got back to my apartment. It is really cold in here for some reason. The AC must be going pretty strong. Um, I spent the morning actually working on cover design. I intended to also work on some business consulting, but I guess that's going to have to be the afternoon. But now I am late, so it is a mad scramble to get my stuff ready to go to the gym. We're actually going to the gym twice today, so we're gonna go there and back, and then there and back again later, which is like, it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, but yeah, it's because there is a weightlifting class at lunch that I like to go to, but then there's also sparring in the evening. So I will be going to that class as well, like boxing, um, sparring. So I'll be going to that class as well, but it just makes it for, or it just makes it for, what am I talking about? It just makes for a very long day. So, um, I have to get ready very, very quickly and I'll see you guys on the subway. So at the time of filming this vlog, I was still very much at the point of trying to settle on a routine. So I do not really do midday trips to the gym anymore. I'm trying to go either in the morning at night, but sometimes I can only go in the middle of the day. So this is literally the most classic Toronto thing ever. The subway is down, so we have to take a shuttle bus. Yeah. So the TTC, the Toronto Transit Commission, just had to throw a little bit of zest into my day by shutting down the subway and running shuttles. One of the most frustrating things about when they run shuttles is they make you get off the subway. And then when the shuttle bus ends, they put you back on the subway. So you have to get off onto the shuttle and then back onto the subway. Anyway, it's a whole thing. It just, it just makes you late for everything. But despite the TTC's best efforts to thwart me, I ended up getting there on time with a coffee in hand and spent my lunch hour doing a wonderful weightlifting class at this beautiful facility. I then headed home on the subway again. There were no shuttles this time. And I got to go to Dollarama because I had to buy some supplies for my new apartment. So I went to Dollarama <laughs> and it was just a couple subway stops away. So thank God, because these are all large bags filled with stuff I needed for my place. So I got some food, got some house stuff, and we're going to set it all up or at least put it all away. This is like the current state of my apartment. There's really not much here. This is the couch that we're going to make tonight and it is going there. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna put all this away. Okay, so I really hope you can see me in this take because I filmed this once and you could not see my face at all. But pro tip, grocery shop for basics at Dollarama. Like, I don't know where you guys are from watching right now, but groceries in Toronto are so freaking expensive. Like, like so unaffordable. Like you go into the grocery store, buy five things and it's a hundred bucks. Dollarama is where it's at. Like I got 12 things of tuna, high protein, low cal, if anyone's wondering, very high protein. 12 things of tuna, four things of ramen, a thing of almond milk, a whole bunch of pasta sauces and some pre-made like pastas, spaghetti, and then basics like freaking olive oil that normally costs a fortune, soy sauce, spices that normally also cost a fortune. Um, and I got that all for $30. And maybe that doesn't sound super cheap, but like if you shop at Toronto grocery stores, you know how freaking expensive food is right now. Don't worry, I do eat fruits and vegetables. They're in my fridge. But like if you ever just need to stock your cupboard with non-perishables, Dollarama all the way, so inexpensive compared to like the grocery store. I love it, love it, love it, love it. 30 bucks for all this, it's great. Please ignore my <laughs> terrible hair, it is a disaster. I am just finally sitting down to eat. The only thing I've had today other than this is a ham and cheese croissant. I literally just whipped up one of the like pre-made pasta things that were in a can and I'm having a Diet Coke and I will probably have some Greek yogurt and an apple after 
but I just needed to eat. I needed to, to get something in my belly because, you know, did a hard lifting workout and then, I don't know, walked all over Toronto getting stuff from Dollarama. But right now it is about 3.30 in the afternoon and I am going to be responding to client emails. Um, I don't typically respond to emails throughout the day. I like pick a time. I don't have a set time yet. I want to get more on, like on a better schedule. And I just respond to emails all at once. Like I check my emails and I respond to them all at one time. I'm hopefully going to get through all of my emails today uh, for my cover design and for my business consulting. And then um, I'm going to do that while I'm eating. And then I'm going to have to jump into some heavy duty Excel work. It's not actually heavy duty Excel work. It's just putting stuff into an Excel uh, for kind of my business consulting that I do. And then hopefully we'll be in good shape for the day. One of the things I've found particularly challenging about transitioning to work for myself is setting a schedule that I can be consistent with. I have no clear solution on how that is going to work yet, but now that I am settled into, or at least more settled into, my new apartment and my life in Toronto, hopefully I can set something that works. I've been using my iCalendar a lot to calendar block, but just getting started on that, so we'll see how it goes. I just finished, well, I spent about an hour or so responding to clients, answering some questions. Then I did some graphic design work. And now I'm going to start putting this couch together before heading back uh, to the gym. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so beyond my transition to working for myself full time, I also, you know, just recently moved to Toronto and this is a brand new apartment. And for some reason, I decided that I had to prove a point by putting together this 100 pound couch all by myself in one evening. I had so many friends and family members offer to help me put this couch together, but I was being very stubborn and for some reason used this stupid couch as a point to prove, I don't know, something to myself about my independence. I don't really know. Perhaps it wasn't that deep. Perhaps I was just being stubborn and didn't want help. I've always been kind of like a more independent person. But it did take quite a lot of effort and it was actually quite heavy. So, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I should have just taken the help when people offered. That doesn't, can't do a full rotation, which is really annoying. So I have to keep on like putting it on. There we go. Okay, I have to get going, but I only have the legs left to do. It is looking like a couch. But of course, I chipped the wall. Not the wall, I chipped the paint, my newly coated paint. So I'm gonna have to patch that up. It fits. Putting that couch together took longer than I would like to admit, but it didn't matter because after that, I was headed out to the gym. It was such a beautiful evening. I got to, you know, take the subway again. This time it wasn't closed. Have a beautiful walk outside eat a delicious apple to fuel up. And then I had a great time at the gym, basically did some light sparring, some technical sparring, and then headed back home for the evening. Hey guys, heading back from the gym. It's about 8.30. Uh, have to take the subway home. Some of my friends were out for beers and I missed it because I was at the gym and I didn't get the text message until I was done. Now they're probably gonna be leaving. Um, yeah, so instead I'm just going home, I guess, and uh, gonna finish my couch. <laughs> So I know this meal probably looks a little bit gross, but it was kind of my take on a tuna melt and honestly, it was actually very delicious. I spent the rest of the evening, you know, eating my dinner, watching a few shows, taking a shower, and then putting the last of the couch together. Woo, putting the legs on it. It was finally almost done. Don't worry, you'll see it in just a second with the living room all put together. 
and here it is the living room all done except for the wall i didn't want to hammer it's too late and so um yeah i just put one little decoration up to see what it looks like but there's gonna be like gold and black decorations all over the wall but the actual room itself is set up that wall i actually think i'm gonna paint yellow to match the couch like a mustardy yellow along with this hall closet here just a mustardy yellow so it's like yellow yellow green yellow and also just to bring some more bright color in here but that wall is going to be full but today was a success i wish i had gotten more work done but the living room this is as you come down the stairs the living room is looking great so I forgot to film an outro, but we're gonna pretend it's the same day because I'm in the same sweater and now you get to see the decor on my wall. But thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, heck, even if you didn't enjoy it, just leave a thumbs up. It would be so helpful and I would appreciate from the bottom of my heart. If you enjoyed content like this, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you here and love to have you on this journey of vlogs and life. So thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.